Well, here today on the Rusty Glove Box, what we did, we uh, got a new tool here in the shop. I ordered it online. It came in yesterday, and I had to get another plug for it so I could use uh, my welder extension cord. It's a 220 machine. So anyway, let's take a look at it. What I ended up getting uh, was this Lotus plasma cutter. It's, it's pretty much an entry-level plasma cutter, pretty small and, and easy to get around. Uh, I got it for $299 off a of Home Depot uh, ordering off their website. They've got it on special right now. So uh, anyway, if anybody else wants one, well, that's where I got this one. But uh, let me get it out of the box, and I'll show you what I got. Well, it's really uh, pretty simple to operate and with a minimal amount of controls on it. Just to show you how big this thing is, Here's the insulated coffee cup. It's pretty small. But it does pack a pretty good wallop. So anyway, this control right here, that uh, is the power of the burn that uh, the torch will put out. And this just off and on switch, and that's all you've got. Uh, on the back side, you have the little air pressure regulator and the uh, instruction said you set it at uh, s roughly 60 to 70 PSI, just depends on the work that you're doing. Uh, you just use regular shop air. I've got my air compressor line here ready to hook up and we'll do kind of a little test cut with it. I already had an extension cord uh, for my old tombstone Lincoln welder here and uh, what I did is I put one of those Hobart 220 plugs on the end of the, of the cord of this welder or uh, plasma cutter and that way I don't have to uh, have an additional extension cord. Well, basically all you've got, you've got your ground just like you would uh, for a welder. This tip looks very similar to like a wire feed welder, but it's got your little uh, plasma tip and the arc rod inside here. And uh, you've got a little button right here for the uh, to shoot the shop air through it. Uh, this metal's pretty thick. I was kind of rushing it a little bit. This is only about the second time I've tried using it. But uh, it works pretty good. And I think once I get used to using it, uh, I'll really like it. Uh, one thing about a plasma cutter, uh, it'll cut aluminum, copper, brass, steel. It'll cut any kind of metal that'll conduct electricity. And uh, so I thought that was pretty neat. I was really uh, looking forward to getting that. Well, anyway, that's the new tool of the shop, the Lotus Plasma Cutter. And uh, I'll probably be using it on maybe cutting out some knife blanks and stuff like that and see how it works for that. I think it'll probably like the little lighter gauge metal. Uh, than something thick, but it says it has the capabilities of cutting up to a half inch thick steel. So uh, it does have a little power, but I think it'll probably take a little while to do that. Uh, we'll use it on several projects and we'll see how it does. So anyway, this is Rusty Glove Box. Thanks for watching, and I'm out of here.